What's good, dear fam? This is Big Tone coming at you from Big Tone Productions. Beats and Feasts, you know what time it is. It's time for another cooking video, and today, I'm definitely going to make the tongue come out of your mouth and slap the back of your neck. We're going to do some smothered country-style ribs. It really is that good, guys. Hey, if you never had them, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Make this for your family. But if you like the video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notifications. Make sure you share the video. Let's get started with some smothered country-style ribs. So, supporting cast, pretty simple. Such a flavorful meal for being so simple. But we got our country style ribs. For those of you who don't know, a country style rib is not really a rib. It's cut from the pork shoulder, but they cut it in these rib slanks. So it kind of looks like a rib. But they come out so tender. This is bone in. They also do boneless as well. So we got our country style ribs there. Seasonings. I'm using Slap Your Mama. Some salt and pepper to taste. Some minced garlic. And then to enhance the gravy a little bit, some onion and some celery cut up. And then I'm using two packages of this brown gravy mix in the pressure cooker. By the way, we're doing this in the pressure cooker. And then I'm going to dust the ribs with a little bit of flour. Not a whole lot. I'll show you how I do that here in a second when I season. But that's all the ingredients. Let's get started with it. All right, so the first things first, we're going to season these up. A little pink Himalayan sea salt. You know how I get down with it. Some black pepper. Don't be afraid to, to uh, be nice and heavy with your seasonings. That's your flavor. And I'm going to sprinkle on my slap your mama. You can use any kind of Cajun seasoning you want, of course. Now I'm going to flip these over and we're going to do the other side. I'm going to put some seasoning in the, in the pressure cooker as well, but we're pre-seasoning here. Alright, so we're going to go with the, let's go in the same order. Pink Himalayan sea salt. Some black pepper. and some slap your mama. Real simple seasoning. Real simple. That's simple. All right, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna dust these with a little bit of flour. All right. Spread that flour all over them. I'm going to put the lid in and shake them up. That's how we're going to dust them. Alright, so they're dusted up nicely. The reason why I'm dusting these up is because I'm going to fry these, not really fry them, I'm going to sear them in a, in a pan on the stove first. I want to get another depth of flavor to them. So that's where we're going to go now. Let's go over to the stove and let's sear these up. Alright, so we're over here at the stove. I got a little bit of oil in the skillet and I've got it on a little bit better than halfway heat or about three quarters away of heat. And we're just going to put these in here and we're just going to sear these off. And the reason why I'm not doing them in the pressure cooker is because I wanted to do them all at the same time. Pressure cooker is a little small for that. Do them all at the same time. Alright, so we're going to get this side nice and brown and flip them over. In the meantime, we're going to go start our... Um, vegetables and stuff well we're not gonna start we're just gonna add it to the pressure cooker I'm gonna show you that all right so while our um, 
country style ribs are, are seasoning up or getting a nice coat on them. We're gonna add to the pressure cooker with a, about a tablespoon of oil, our onion, and our celery. And we're not stirring these off or anything. They're gonna cook down to nothing in the pressure cooker. So we're just putting them in there. And we're gonna add a large heaping tablespoon of minced garlic. Like that. Gotta drop that in. And right to that, we're going to add two packages of the brown gravy mix. Just dump them right in. I love this recipe. It's so easy. Get all of it out. And then to that, we're going to add two cups of water. I might go two and a half, but right now it's two cups. Yeah, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna actually do two and a half cups of water. We're gonna mix that around in there. Ah, yeah. So now we're gonna go back over to our country style ribs that are searing on the stove. They're searing up nice. And this is what I'm looking for. We're going to flip these over. Ah, yeah. Get that depth of flavor on them. Like that. Oh, yeah. We're going to do that side. And then we're going to add them to the pressure cooker. Right, so look at my country style ribs here. This is what we're looking for. We're just going to sear them up. We're not trying to cook them. We're not trying to cook them done. We're just searing them to get a depth of flavor. Ah, yeah. Beautiful. Alright, so we're going to pop those in the pressure cooker. Alright, so one at a time we're going to place these in the pressure cooker. Just like this. I'm talking about. All right, so on the top of that, I'm just gonna sprinkle with a little bit of slap your mama, a little extra seasoning. Just like that. Next thing is very simple. We're just gonna cover it up. on lock it down if you don't know how to do that check out my other videos I got plenty to show you how to do that all right guys so this is a pretty simple one we're gonna hit the meat chicken button increment it to high and we're gonna bring the, the timer oops increment it to high well why won't my there it goes we're going to set the timer here to 35 minutes. Alright, if we need more time, we can add more time, but we're going to start with 35. That should be good for this. Alright, it's going to start going around and around. And bam! When it gets up to pressure, it'll start counting down for 35 minutes, and I'll see you guys in a half a second, but by real time, it'll be 35 minutes. It's been 35 minutes. Look at these. Oh my god. They are super tender. I got to be careful with them. Hey, I'm going to plate this up for you. I'll put it over some rice. Look at that gravy. 
Oh my God, it's gonna be good. All right, let me play this up for you. There you go. Some good old smothered country style ribs over some rice, some gravy, some broccoli, and some corn there with it. Hey guys, you know what I'm waiting for. <laughs> I'm waiting for that bite. Give me a second, let me get it. Good old smothered country style ribs over some rice. You know what I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for that bite. Mm. Put plate down, it was heavy. If you like this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notifications, make sure you share the video. And hey, this is Big Tone signing off. Peace.